Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about infection isolation. This topic bothers me personally because I memorized it very well and I was asked about it in the exam, but I mixed them up and couldn't answer the question. So in this video, I've made a better way to memorize it and hopefully this is going to help you as well. We have three main ways of isolation, either airborne, droplet, or contact isolation. Airborne isolation is very serious and very expensive. But luckily, we only use it for lethal conditions, like TB and lethal viruses, like measles, pox, and COVID. Even breathing the same air in a room with these patients puts you at risk of infection. Next, we have droplet infections, and this includes mycoplasma pneumonia, seasonal viruses like influenza and adenovirus, and capsulated organisms like strep pneumonia, H influenza, and Neisseria. And finally, contact isolation includes Clostridium difficile, and this is the one that I got wrong in my exam drug-resistant infections like MRSA and VRE, scabies and all other parasites, and of course RSV. And here's a small quiz. What is the isolation precaution for the following organisms? And here are the answers. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.